Okay, so I wanted to try a new mod that I found called Awujin, which is just essentially a wolf mod of Clanjin. And it goes further beyond than just the skins. So there's like more things to it. I'll just quick start. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um so let's what do we want to name our pack? Squirrel pack, hail pack, swallow pack. Dream pack? That could be fun. Sure. We'll go with that. Oh, the art for these are so good. Oh, do they start out with accessories? I see quite a few with accessories on. Oh, that's really cool. Gravel Willow gives me a leader vibe, so I'm gonna give her the leadership name. Lum gives me deputy vibes, but let me... I like that one is named Dog. Yeah, you can be the deputy. You give me medicine vibes. And then... I really like you. I really like Shell Pup. Look at how cute. I love the speckling of Tadpole. Oh, you're beautiful. Flame is really pretty. Light is really pretty. They're all really pretty. Dog has a fun name. I'll take Light, and I'll say that's good. Ooh, Lakeside's pretty. I think that's from this mod. Ooh, Runes. I'm feeling Runes. Look at that. Oh, and Symbol. Okay. I mean, this one kind of fits already what we have. <laughs> I might just keep that one, really. Yeah, we'll just keep that one. That's fine. Let's look through our pack. Gravel Star here is our female leader. Oh, you're a wolf hybrid. Oh, wait, do there's that different species? <gasps> they do. What? Oh my gosh, this one, this, like, version is so cool. I didn't realize there was that many differences from base Clangin. That's awesome. Okay. Oh, it has a scent, too? <laughs> oh, that's interesting. That's so interesting. Okay, Gravel Star. Oh, we also have a little, um, leadership ceremony thing. Don't see anything crazy different in here, other than replacing Cat as Wolf, which is fair. Um, so Gravel Star is a female wolf hybrid. She is 100 and 40 moons old. Her apprentice is Tadpole Paw. Her eyes are bear? I guess they... Yeah, I guess that's just the word they use for their eye colors. That's fine. Um, her scent is eggs. I don't know if that's a good scent to have, to be honest. Because eggs can be kind of stinky. But, <laughs> I mean, they are wolves, so maybe that's a good thing. And the pink bell collar. Plum Speckle here is a male wolf dog. Is there any sprite differences between, like, wolf dog, wolf hybrid? I wonder. That might just be something I have to find slowly myself. Uh, oh, they have no fangs? Oh, they have, like, a physical thing, too. Each of them. Oh my gosh. This mod has so much. This is so cool. Yeah. Hold on. So this mod was made by Cory in the, uh, in the Clan Gen Discord. I will try and link any sort of credits that I can find from them. And hopefully if I remember to, I'll share a screenshot of their, like, Discord, uh, stuff here as well. So yeah, their- Cory did a crazy cool job with all of this. And, you know, if you're seeing this, I'm- this is- you went to crazy detail, which is really cool. I really love when clan gen mods do stuff like this. That's why I've been playing so much a wing clan recently, is because they've added like species differences and stuff, and I actually have no idea how old that is, but that's fine. <laughs> so her physical difference is that she's cold. Interesting. Plum Smeckle, he physically has no fangs, interesting. Lemon colored eyes. Smells like strawberries. That's pretty pleasant. Accessory dove feathers. Silver shadow here is a full wolf. She has a very soft gaze and silver eyes. He smells like 
grasslands, and her accessory is a rainbow harness. This is a male wolf dog. This one is so pretty. Fur... Furs? Spec? I don't know what a furs is. I don't, I don't know. That's fine. <laughs> uh, they have heterochromia, too. Amber and sky. They smell like hyacinth. Okay. And they have an herb colored pelt. Light Dusk here has a soft gaze as well. She has a full wolf. And she smells like squash. <laughs> Deadpool has an extra toe. I love polydactyl animals. It's the cutest thing. I love it when cats have like so many extra toes that they just look like they have like the feet of like lynx cats. <laughs> uh their scent is sap. Honestly, yeah, I can I can see that. Twilight eyes. That makes me think it'd be like purple, but they're like orangey. Oh no, they are purple at the top. Okay. Pretty, pretty. Flash Kite is a male wolf who has no dew claws. Is I didn't know there was a thing that animals could like be born without. That's interesting. They smell like a lynx. I was just talking about lynx cats. Okay. And they have bluebird feathers. A koi wolf. Is that a coyote wolf? I'm gonna assume it is. They are very sleek physically. And they smell like seagull. And have an indigo heart. heart. An indigo harness. Smelling like seagull sounds like it wouldn't be very pleasant. I don't know. Because I just think of like... I don't know. Like... I don't even know. Like it's, I just don't imagine that would be a good smell. Okay, I wonder what's all different in the, like, patrol stuff now. That's gonna be real fun. So let me go through my settings. Uh, let's automatically save. Allow mass extinction. Don't meta- don't have medicine wolves. Keep faded wolves. Uh, don't fade away, actually. Pack page background. Uh, show moons and season. Take that off. Put that on. Um, we'll put those two on. Cool, okay. Yeah. Just like to have my settings <laughs> moved around. Uh, we really don't need any prey at least. Here is an apprentice, so we'll put you guys on training. Oh, there's still cat icons. <laughs> While Tadpole Paw and Gravel Star are out walking, Tadpole Paw seems preoccupied. When Gravelstar brings their patrol to a halt and asks what's wrong, he's revealed that he's having a hard time sleeping. His dreams are filled with shadows and images. Tadpopaw isn't a pup anymore, and though Gravelstar tries to be gentle about it, she makes it clear to Tadpopaw's responsibilities to make sure he's well-rested and attentive for his training. So there might not be too many differences with the patrols themselves, but still, for... To have this much on just, like, one mod is crazy, so I can forgive! The patrol's not being perfect, I guess. <laughs> uh, that's a joke, by the way. I, I really don't mind. I just respect the amount of effort that would have to go into, like, all this. Because, like, there's so much done here. I mean, there's, like, different sprite art. There's, like, physical, like, differences and stuff. Even if that's just, like, in their, like, bios and stuff. I just think it's neat. I can respect someone with a lot of patience, to say the least. I'll just put two random dogs in here, so Light Dusk and Plum Speckle. Honestly, these two look related. I don't think I can make them related unless I have, like, a common mom or dad with them, though, can I? Oh, yeah. Laurel Pelt is our, um, star pack leader. Female, physically oily. Smells like cilantro. Isn't cilantro that one thing that, um, that one herb... That, like, some people can taste and some people can't. I don't know. It was something... It was something like cilantro. Like, they're really close in age, so I'd feel weird making, like, one the child of the other. But, like, I really think they look super similar. One's a wolf dog. The other one's just a wolf, though. I don't know. I'll leave it be. I just think they look very similar, in my opinion. <laughs> but I'll put them both back on here. We'll put them on border. Walking along the border, the patrol notices a storm pack patrol renewing their scent marks up ahead. When the two patrols get closer to each other, the patrol leaders share a quick nod of acknowledgement. 
The patrols refocus on their task without stopping for a conversation, but a feeling of mutual respect has been fostered. Burr's Speck and Silver Shadow can go on herb gathering together. Silver Shadow goes out with a warrior escort, both for safety as they look for new leaves, fresh buds, and for carrying capacity should they find anything. Surprisingly, First Spec actually starts up a conversation with them about the herbs they're looking for. Silver Shadow launches into the usual spiel, but even more astonishingly, First Spec is actually interested, and it makes their heart feel lighter getting to share their knowledge and skills with somebody who respects them. Very nice, and I don't think we have a mediator. I'm like pretty dang sure we don't. Yeah, okay. I'm not gonna make one at the moment. I just was curious because I hate when I accidentally mess stuff like that. Shell Pup got a stomach ache. Aww. Yeah, so we got like some friendships blooming. Positive effects mostly. I don't. S uh oh. Silver Shadow ask argues with Tadpole Paw in front of other wolves and reveals in the embarrassing. Okay, well, I was gonna say there's no negative effects, but that one's pretty bad. That was the only negative effect I see. Okay. <laughs> Brava Star wonders if wolves like her as a leader. Plum Speckle is finding Tadpole Paw annoying. Silver Shadow is thinking about taking on a new apprentice. First Speck tries to set a good example for younger wolves. Light Dusk is wondering what living with two legs must be like. Tadpole Paw is dreading his apprentice duties. Splash Kite is recalling something no other wolf remembers anymore. How old are you? Oh, Elder. 138 moons. Well, the leader probably remembers, because they're 140, aren't they? Shell Pup thinks first spec is too loud. Okay. You know, I noticed Shell Pup is interested in pack history, and Splash Kite is over here thinking about, like, history and stuff, so I, I feel like they would get along. I think Shell Pup would constantly come over to Splash asking for, like, knowledge about their ancestors and history, and things they can do to avoid any bad things. How old is Shell Pup? You're... Three minutes. You're sick? Oh yeah, the stomach ache. I forgot about that. The I'll add three random and then go on training. So that puts us Tadpole Paw, First Speck, and Light Dusk. First Speck wanders past an old wolverine den dug into the rocky hillside only to freeze. There's new scent here, Acrid and Sour. Carefully considering their options, Light Dusk decides to set up a stakeout with the patrol. When the Wolverine pokes its head above the ground at dusk, they're prepared, and in unison, everyone turns for home. The wolves fade into the grass before the predator has even blinked the sleep out of its eyes. <laughs> uh, at first I thought they were tormenting the Wolverine, but no, they used it as like a timer almost. Home Speckle and Gravel Star can go on border. As a patrol is marking the border lines, a group of rogues leap out behind a tumble of rocks. An ambush. We'll proceed. The rogues greatly outnumber the patrol and have no trouble defending them. The fallen warriors' bodies are recovered and the next day covered in battle wounds and cold. Oh, Plum Speckle's already dead and Gravel Star already lost a life. This is the fastest I've ever had a leader lose their life. That's impressive for me. <laughs> okay, Silver Shadow? Um, maybe let's try not to risk any more lives. I don't think Medicine Cats can die on their patrols at the very least, but I don't... You know... New Leaf has brought new life to Dream Pack's territory, and Silver Shadow heads out to gather fresh goldenrod for the stores. It would sure be nice to get some marigold, too, if it's matured enough to be harvested. Silver Shadow has a good eye for these things, and sniffs off the best and most lush goldenrod and marigold pelts to take back to the pack stores. Talk about good luck. Good for them. We are one dog shorter than we were, like, five minutes ago. The world around him feels smaller later. Lately, Splash Kite looks out the horizon and yearns for something unnameable. Splash Pup's stomach ache has left. Oh, geez. First Speck fell into a river, inhaled a lot of water before managing to get out. He's been hacking and sputtering since. The past moon, Plum Speckle has taken their life in Star Pack. Dream Pack mourns their loss, and the Packmates will miss the spot they took up in their lives. Moments of their life are shared in stories around the circle of mourners as those that were closest to them take them to their final resting place. No wolf was truly fit to be deputy, but the position can't remain vacant. First Beck is appointed as the new deputy. Oh, you're not happy, are ya? Are you missing eyes or are your eyes closed? I don't know. I think they're closed. <laughs> the First Beck is being begged by Shell Pup to teach her a few moves, but despite Shell Pup being a pup. Shell Pup, you're like one of my favorites, I swear. Misses the warmth that Plum Speckle brought to her life. Oh. 
Poor Shell. Well, let's see. Tadpole and Gravel, you can go out training. Gravel Star suggests it might be a good chance to practice new fighting techniques with Tadpole Paw. Both wolves have a nice practice session swapping their best tips and tricks with each other. And then we'll put Light and Silver on Herb. Silver Shadow is on a mission to find Lungwort near now that New Leaf is here. The only reliable cure for Yellow Cough. They're determined to find they're determined that Dream Pack replenish their stocks of it. They take along a warrior escort to help. It takes them all day, but eventually, finally, Silver Shadow spots the speckled leaves they've been looking for, so crucial to replenishing the pack's stores after the long leaf fair. For just a second, they feel the weight off their responsibilities lift. The strength of that relief catching them off guard. Flash Kai, since you're an elder, I think it'd be fine. I think it'd be fun to give you the role of mediator. I don't know who I'd mediate together. Silver and Furs have a bit of a crush on each other. Sure. Okay, we can time skip one moon. Dream Pack welcomes Tadpole Chest as a new warrior, honoring his attention. I'm not sure I'm feeling this name. Tadpole Freckle, I think that's cute. I don't think I'm feeling Kite either. Splash Slash. That is a tongue twister. Splash Splinter isn't much better. Splash Dapple's cute. I'll keep that one. Silver Shadow's fine. Fur is spec. I'll keep. Gravel Star is fine. Chill Pup, I'm so excited for you to get bigger. You get to have a freaking uh, mentor next time. Heck yeah. Probably just mediate the same one. I don't, like, really have, like, I'm not specifically trying to get those two together. It's more of a I'm just mediating to mediate type deal. But, you know. Uh, I'll just put three of them on border. While walking along the border, the patrol notices the Clover Pack Patrol renewing their scent marks. The patrols eventually cross paths and an awkward tension fills the air. No one is quite sure what to say to break the silence and everyone involved slowly shuffles away to continue their respective patrols and Clover Pack relations worsen. Awesome! That's always great. Yippee. The Blackberry Brambles will soon be at their peak leaf growth soon, if they aren't there already. Silver Shadow heads out to replenish the pack's stalks. Silver Shadow falls into the meditative state that herb gathering brings, and they hum to themselves as they work, crispy plucking from the crisply plucking from the brambles they encounter both blackberry and raspberry. The shell pup is annoying older wolves. Tadpole is giving advice to Light Dusk. Light Dusk is trying to set a good example for the younger wolves. I feel like we're going through the moons way too fast, but it's just because we don't have a lot of wolves to patrol with yet. Splash Dapple brought a litter of three pups. What the heck? Hold on. Oh, they're little puppies. Oh, Laurel Pup. They're muscular. And also heterochromic. But oh, they have scent still already, too. Wormwood, bark, and spring. We got a wolf, wolf, and wolf dog, so... Uh, Splash is a wolf, so they must have mated with a wolf dog or a dog. Interesting. Look how cute Cougar Pup is. Look how cute they all are, honestly. They're adorable. Uh, Light Dusk is Shell's mentor. Oh, Light Dusk confession to Silver Shadow could have gone better. Actually, anything would have been better than the rejection she got. Oops. Light and Silver. Okay. Well, now I'm curious. Light and Silver do have... I'll mediate them this moon, then. Laurel snuggles up to the belly of Splash Dapple. Swamp Pup does the same. Cooker Pup also does the same. Okay. Aw, oh, look at you, cutie. And Light Dusk take them out on training. While Shell Paw and Light Dusk are out walking, Shell Paw seems preoccupied. When Light Dusk brings their patrol to a halt and asks what's wrong, she reveals she's been having a hard time sleeping. Her dreams are filled with shadows and images. Light Dusk listens sympathetically, gently, gently nodding as Shellpaw pours out her troubles into the apprentices, eventually runs out of words. She's been dealing with a lot, apparently, and while Light Dusk isn't too sure what to do, she can offer support and time away from Shellpaw's troubles. Just that it's already enough to make Shellpaw's ears start drooping. We'll have Gravel Star and Tadpole Freckle on... We're getting kinda low on food, we'll do hunting. It's hot out today, and the hunted patrol bounces around, infused with energy as they seek out prey. It feels like every creature on the mountains 
is out enjoying the weather and fattening up. And the wolves have what they feel like a perfect day, sun and heat and prey dripping from every moment. A large amount of prey is brought back. Oh, heck yeah, we doubled our prey count. Okay, Silver Shadow go on herb gathering. Silver Shadow heads out to the territory to stock up on cobwebs, something the pack never seems to have enough of. Silver Shadow visits one of her favorite places to gather cobwebs. When she gets back to camp, she ends up starting, startling several wolves on her way back to their den. Silver Shadow is practically a walking cobweb, impossible to see beneath the sheer mass she's gathered. Oh my goodness. I just imagine her, because wolves are big, so this means she got a lot of cobweb. Like, a lot, a lot. <laughs> well, time skip one more moon. Let's see. Light Dusk and Silver Shadow are now together. Okay, carefully. Everyone carefully hides their smiles as they announce becoming mate. First Beck is breathing normally again. Yay, I thought we were going to lose first for a second. Cougar Pup was playing with J feathers and already has some on them. Looky. Oh, they're so cute. Laurel Pup. Swamp Pup. And cougar pup. How cute. Odd shell and dusk and silver. Oh no, silver's the medicine. Never mind. Uh, we'll just do those two on training then. The patrol wants to hold a training session for Shellpaw. They decide to focus on how best to leap off a rocky cliff. Shellpaw listens carefully as Light Dusk explains how to find paw holds and take advantage of the cliff's craggy surface. I'll put three on hunting. Eyes glowing with the last ray of sunset, the small hunting party heads out into the gathering dust. It's the perfect time of day. The cats! The wolves melting in and out of their territory shadowy cover as the successes begin to pile up. At first, only a couple pieces of prey, then more and more until finally, Gravel Star calls off the patrol not because the prey has escaped them, but because they're going to have trouble carrying it all home. Yeah, and we'll save here. Thank you all for watching. I really want to play more of this, so I really hope people want to see more of this. I think it's crazy cool how detailed this person got with making with making this like modded version of Clan Gen. I love when people like put so much passion into stuff like this. And it's clear to me this person really likes wolves just by how much there is in this mod. I would love to draw some of my wolf characters. Uh, if I have enough time to before I upload this video, I totally will. But if not, expect it next time, honestly, like, because I really want to draw these guys. Especially some of the ones that are really, like, love the designs of. So, thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time.